Good morning, my name is Luciana Klepatz and I'll be teaching a math lesson about fractions and this is my niece Brooklyn that's going to be helping me today. So Brooklyn, can you tell me something that you know about fractions or how we use them every day? We use them to like make equal parts and what we want. Make equal parts and how we split everything, right? Okay, so let's go over what fractions really are. So what is a fraction? It is a number that expresses equal parts of a whole object or a set of objects. So right here you have a one whole object and you want to split it into four pieces and you eat one chunk of it. And over here is a set of objects. They could be like M&Ms or Skittles or candy or anything, but it's a set of objects and you eat one piece of that candy. So that would be one fourth. And do you know anything about a numerator or a denominator? Yes. What do you know about those? Numerator is the top part of a fraction and the denominator is the second part of a fraction. Yeah, the, the, um, the second part underneath the bar, correct? Yes. So the numerator is how many fraction pieces you have and the denominator is how many fraction pieces your whole, your whole is broken up into. So, um, and, the div and this little bar right here, it represents division, right? Because yeah. you're dividing it and all the pieces that you have. Fraction is basically dividing. Exactly. So it could represent a part over a whole. And just remember, an easy way to remember denominator is the D, so it's down, it's the number below the bar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now um, I wanted to tell you, my favorite candy is M&Ms, and I have them all laid out over here, but I need help sorting them out by their colors and how many I have of each color. So um, how many red M&Ms do you see up here? Two. Two of them. Very good. Okay. And orange M&Ms, how many do I have? One. You only see one? Okay. And what about yellow M&Ms? Three. Three. Okay. What about blue? Two. Two of them. All right. So now that I have my numbers, can you tell me how to set up these numbers as of, oh, before I do that, how many M&Ms do I have in total? Eight. Eight of them, okay. So how can you, um, how can we write these as a fraction? How many red M&Ms do I have? Eight. Two eights. Two eights, yes. So that's how I'd write it as a fraction. Because you have two M&Ms out of eight of them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about orange? How can I write One that as a fraction? One eight. What about yellow? Three eighths. Three eighths. And blue? Two eighths. Two eighths. Awesome. All right, if you want to come up here and help me with my fraction circle and help me shade in how many I have, and I have these crayons right here for you representing all the colors of my M&Ms. So if you can um, shade in on this, um, or the, this fraction circle and shade in two eighths of red M&Ms. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can just shade it in. Okay, and one more of them. And now we're gonna do orange, which was how many, how much of the circle? Nine. Fraction. One. One eighth of it. Okay. And what's next? Yellow. Yellow M&M. Three. Three eighths of the, of the fraction circle. Okay, and now, now that you've done one eighth of it, now we're gonna move on to the yellow. How many yellow um, sections do you have to color? Three. Okay, perfect. Okay, and last but not least, blue. How many? Two eighths. Two eighths of the fraction circle. my chart and so now that we have done this I want to give you your very own pack of M&Ms and don't eat them yet but here's your sort your M&Ms 
and I will give you your worksheet called Edible Fractions. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna sort out your M&Ms so you can take them out of the bag. Our table's clean. Good. All right, and now you are going to fill out your worksheet based on what color M&Ms you have from your M&M pack. So it says, for number one, it says, how many M&Ms do you have in each color? And um, so it says, how many blue M&Ms do you have? having to use your purple ones. Okay, so we can just move the purple ones out of the way since we don't need those. Okay, so now it says, how many M&Ms do you have all together? <coughs> Let's see. Okay, I have to count this again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Good, okay. So based on your numbers, what color do you have most of? Well, all the browns, yellows, and blues, because they're... So you have most of blue, brown, and yellow? Yes. Okay. And then number four says, what color do you have least of? Oh, no, I use Oh, it's okay. You can just move on to the line. Sorry. Or I can do this. There you go. Or I can do this. And this. Okay. Or I can do this. Perfect. And then what color did you say you had least of? I have the least green. Great. Okay. So now let's make fractions. In the light gray boxes, put the number of M&Ms you have in that color okay, in the I'm dark gray box. I'm gonna put the 18 here. I'm gonna have the 18s. So I'm gonna put the 18. And is that the numerator or the denominator the you're writing? Denominator. Denominator, good. So then blue, we have four. So it'd be four. Four 18s. 18s, because we have 18 in the left. And red? And so now red, we got three. And for brown, we have four. Perfect. And for green, we have one. Great. All right. You did a good job on that. And don't eat your M&Ms yet because you're actually going to need that worksheet to fill out this next worksheet that we have. And this worksheet is called M&M Fractions. So um, if you want, you can use the colors that I have. And I'll get you another color if you need another one. Um, so pretty much you're just going to be coloring in your bar graph here of how many you have in each of these colors. And remember how we did the fraction circle? Yes. You're going to do that right here the same way. Okay. And then um, once you're done with these, you're, use your M&Ms to finish the sentences below. Those should be easy since you already have them here. You just need to um, convert this information onto this paper. Okay, so what do so, I do here? Do I just put the number? Um, so you fill it out with the colors. So how many orange did you have? I had two. Two. Okay, so you can use your orange crayon and fill out oh, two boxes. Bad. So it's like a bar graph. Because it is a bar graph? Yes. You're learning about fractions and bar graphs. Ooh, okay. So then you should be familiar with this. And then red, we have three. I'm going to get you a green color. And a brown. Four. 
looks good so far. And then for blue, we had four. We had mm -hmm. four for blue. And while you're working on this, you are free to eat your m and since you have recorded all your information on here already. And then for green, we have one. One sad Which, green. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the green. I don't know why it's getting from my box. Can you just shake everything on it? Good. Um, okay. And for brown, we have four. Last but not least, brown. For that, you can shade it for time purposes. Okay, excellent. Um, we will skip over this part. Since you already did it. Yes. And you helped me up here already. Yeah. So now you know how to do that. So now we're going to go on and finish the sentences below right quick. So it says, um, blank of my M&Ms are, what color? Red? Mm -hmm. 218, it's okay. And then? Four. What color is that? Yellow? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then blank number of my M&Ms are orange. And then blue, blue is M &M. four. Mm -hmm. And, and then green. Green is one. And then brown. And then brown is four. The okay. Bonus. If you want to do the bonus, you can. I don't want to do the bonus. All right. Well, so then, we you did a great job on this. So now we're going to end our lesson today with this exit slip. It has a word bank that says fraction, set, numerator, equal parts, whole, denominator, and division. And you're just going to fill in the blanks on here and tell me what you learned about fractions today and what you remember about them. And you can use um, our fraction chart if you need to look back at it, okay? And that's all for today. Thank you for joining me.